A year ago, Rishi Sunak was Father Christmas mm -hmm. through the pandemic. This spring, he's been Scrooge with yeah. tax rises. Now he's trying to be Father Christmas again. And I think a lot of people aren't quite sure where they stand. Whereas Liz Truss has been consistently playing fairy godmother. Now, whether you regard her, her picture as a fairy tale or not, mm -hmm. it's a consistent story. I think people feel now they, they know what they think about Liz Truss. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't quite know where they stand with Rishi Sunak. The Conservative Party has always been the party that wants to have lower taxes. Right now, though, we've been seeing taxes going up on households and businesses. And one, this is one of the clear areas between uh, Liz and, and, and Rishi in terms of how we boost the economy now. And Liz is very clear and being consistent that by reducing taxes, uh, especially for corporations, uh, we want to unlock their potential as well instead of removing more money from them. We're at risk of going into recession and we need to get that growth. And that's where Liz has a different proposal, a different plan. You know, we have gone through a period of time over the last two and a half years where we've spent far more money than we ever envisaged in terms of the furlough scheme and so on. That has to be paid for. And, of course, it would be very easy for him to say, let's cut taxes now. But the Cabinet has collectively uh, signed up to a package of interventions to support people through the cost of living uh, crisis, investing in our NHS to deal with the backlog. And Rishi doesn't believe it's responsible to... Uh, do those tax cuts immediately. He wants to help people with that additional cost of, of energy, and he said how we do that in the autumn. But where we agree as Conservatives across the party is that we do want to bring tax cuts as forward as quickly as we can when they're affordable, not when they're unfunded. They're going to burden future generations. And at a time of great uncertainty in the economy where we have record inflation rates, highest inflation rates for 40 years, and a, a great deal of uncertainty. But I think Nadine Doris is her own person. She's always had a, a distinct way of, of presenting herself, and I respect her right to do that. And, uh, you know, we, we in the Conservative family have a range of views and styles, and people probably accuse me of being too boring and technocratic. Um, I'm very aware of that. I know my strengths and weaknesses, and um, uh, I try and, um, you know, just to be clear about what I'm doing here, which is supporting Rishi Sunak, setting out the rationale for the decisions that he's made and for the agenda that he's putting forward, uh, forward for the British people at this very, very challenging time. I've worked with him closely over three years. I know how he operates and I have utter conviction that he's the right choice to be our next Prime Minister.